Hey guys, welcome back to the Small Town Critics Podcast. I'm one third of the Small Town Critics. My name is Mo. Okay. Guys, we've got a very, 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 very special guest. Ooh, I'm right very down. happy. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Straight all the way from the ages of screen. Yes. Thank you for joining us, Miles. Let's Thank go. You. Thank on. you for having me, man. Thank yes, you for having me. It's been a long time in the making. <laughs> yeah, for real. You you met the man the minute? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I had yes. I, I, I a doing screen in action. Yeah, yeah oh, Kevin sorry. Hashi. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. I wasn't there. I was busy. I didn't meet you, but we spoke on the comments. Yes, 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 <laughs> but, yes, yes, yeah. yes for sure. But, um, no, nah, I appreciate you joining us. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. So, if you guys don't know, uh, Miles here is from the Agents of Screen YouTube page and on our other socials as well. Description, um, All the socials are going to be in the description down below. Um, but, yeah, we're here for a movie review. And Miles here all day with us, so we're going to do some reviews. Godzilla Kong, The New Empire, directed by Adam Wingard. Um, starring Rebecca Hall. Is it? I think it's the main actri- actor in it. Yeah, sure. Rebecca Hall and also Brian Terry Henry, which yeah. I didn't even know was in this. I didn't see a trailer for this. Well, did you not uh, see the first one? Did, well, the, the previous one to this. No. Oh, yeah, you the know, last you, Kong you know. I saw was Skull Island, I think. Okay, Big okay, movie. okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that but this, do, you remember, this do you remember the order the guy had the, the grenades? Yeah, 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 holding the, it up. The, 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 yeah, <laughs> no, that was the tail. The tail slapped him in the, the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. But yeah, that's the one last yeah. one I saw. Um, but I, obviously I could tell from what they were saying in the movie they alluded to a lot of stuff yeah. in past movies and stuff like that but um, yeah we're just here to do a quick review we're going to do a quick non-spoiler mm-hmm. so as our guest do you want to go first let us know what you thought non-spoiler wise Godzilla versus Kong yeah. God, Godzilla X Kong X I should Kong, say yeah. that's what I'm just saying Godzilla Kong I don't know what they try to mean by that is it versus I don't know what they're saying because one of them was called versus right yeah the last one was called versus right okay mm-hmm. cool when they mash up Tokyo yeah. and, this, and, and in this one they mash up every other city <laughs> on Earth. Yeah. but um, first impressions I will say this is an extremely stupid movie <laughs> it's really stupid that's yeah. what I, that's my take yeah, yeah. It's, it was very uh, reminiscent of like the Showa era uh, Godzilla. And what Showa era is, is like uh, like between the 1950s, 1970s uh-huh. of Godzilla uh-huh. in Japan. Yeah. And they were like very ridiculous. Like Godzilla will be doing spin kicks. Godzilla will be doing uh-huh. flying across the screen. Uh-huh. Okay, 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 <laughs> he will okay. be doing like, yeah, you know, yeah, he will yeah. kicks yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah. it seemed like a homage to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, at the same time, it doesn't mean those movies were good. Yeah. You know, but it seemed like it was paying homage to that. I could see why people would like it. Yeah. But for me, it wasn't enough mm-hmm, mm-hmm. for me to enjoy it or to even say like I would watch it again. I hear that. Yeah. He has a word on Kem. You know what? I've, um, I've had to, I've, I've gone through a load of movies with these guys and I think a lot of the time I've been way too harsh and these guys have told me I need to watch movies and just, just, just watch it for what it is. And actually, I actually did this for this one. I watched it for what it was. Okay. I could have enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good though, that's no, good. No, but not that's saying- good. It's the mindset, isn't it? Not saying it's, I'm not saying it's a good movie. It's definitely not a good movie. No, yeah, yeah, I just yeah, put yeah. myself in the mindset to enjoy it for okay. what it was. Okay. That's all. That, that's <coughs> all I can say. Cause f- yeah, yeah, yeah. Because to be fair, if I go on anymore, I'm going to end up spoiling because yeah. a lot of the stuff that I want to talk about is the fun, the, the bits that I enjoyed. But again, if you're going to go into if you're going to go into a movie, not being overly critical of the body of work, just go have fun. You might enjoy it. I actually enjoyed it at the end. I think that's. I, I don't know. I'm like that with quite. A few, there's another movie we're going to review today later on that I'm kind of the same way where it's like. Uh, I enjoyed it, but I know this is a bad movie. Okay, like, yeah. I can pick out the flaws yeah, and things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But this one, hey, yo, man, I wanted to go home. Is it? Yeah, I wanted to go home, man. <laughs> I was tired of this one. I think there's nothing, I don't think, anything that that gripped me. Maybe the only thing I'll be... Ah, oh, but that's spoilery. But we'll get into it. But this is just Kaiju Fest. Mm. Honestly, like, it's just a whole... I don't know. It's just... As we can see, Kaiju Fest is enough for, for, yeah. for some. I get, you know. Yeah, that's the thing. Some, uh, some people love the, the Kaiju aspect of these kinds of movies. For me, it was a bit too much. It felt almost mindless, honestly, at some point. I was just kind of like, I was kind of like, what am I watching mm. at, at one point, really? I think it was a blessing and a curse that yeah. it came out after Godzilla Minus One. Oh, Two very different Godzilla films. Oh and as I said before, you can have the space for both of them, but yeah. it's a blessing and a curse. Yeah. Because like, the, the argument has been it doesn't matter what the humans do. Mm-hmm. Once the kaijus are kaiju and yeah. it's so fine. Yeah. You have to have to almost choose. 
but Godzilla minus one show, you don't have to choose. Like you can have both. Yeah. You can still write the humans in an yeah. intelligent manner. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's true. That's 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 great. Give yeah, them to be heart, fair. all of that stuff, isn't it? Yeah, make them matter. But is it, this one is just. I didn't care about anybody. <laughs> like, not even not one person. And the thing is about Brian Tyree Henry, I didn't know he was in these other ones, but yeah. I consider him actually a fantastic, fantastic yep. actor. Yeah, man, like Paperboy. Yeah, this... Th- Paperboy's cold. That, that, that's, Paperboy that's, cold. That's the best of Brian Tyree Henry. Yeah, yeah. That's what people say, but like, I'm just surprised to see him in roles like this. I don't know what it is, man. Mm. I mean, it's your prerogative. If you want to take these roles, that's your life, isn't it? At the end of the day, if the bag is nice, I'll take it too. Mm. But it's just, I'm just looking at him just like, I feel like this is just wasted potential, honestly. Mm. But um, but yeah, I don't know. Do you guys have anything else to say non-spoiler-wise? No, no, I'm ready for, no. I'm ready to sort of in, tell you that why I enjoyed it. it so much. You might as well kick it off. Spoilers, guys. If you ain't seen it, go watch it. If you don't care, keep watching. <laughs> and uh, before we get into it, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. So you know when the videos are coming out. And like I said before, Agents of Screen socials are going to be down in the description below. Yes, sir. Kem, chat to us, spoiler wise. What are you saying? Hey, listen. This movie <laughs> was so... This movie was so, like, left. I, I was like, you know what? Once I saw the left... I, once I saw the direction going left, I was like, you know what? what it is what it is. Bro, like, you got, you got these two big, big giant monsters, kaijus running like humans, humanoids, mm. like scrapping like humans. And it's like the physics be- behind Godzilla's sort of like bio- biology, like just how he stands and everything, it should prevent him from running and fighting and doing certain stuff. It's like, man, sleeping in, he's sleeping in, where's the, where's the, co- the Coliseum? The Coliseum and, and it was stupid, man. But you know what? Rude there was, boy, though. He's a rude boy. No, of course, made of that course. He made that his house. Oh, that's, his that's, that's his pad, that's yeah, his pad. That's his pad. But cold. then again, <laughs> talking about Brian Terry Henney, like, I think from the previous one, this one I I, I enjoyed. I enjoyed his performance because I know it's going to be nonsense. So I took it for what it was. This was this performance is almost like. Do you remember Transformers? Yeah. And Anthony Anthony, what's his name? Anyway, the, uh, Anthony from Blackish. Anthony Anderson. Anthony Anderson. Oh yeah. When he was in Transformers. Okay. Same performance, exactly copy and paste same performance. I hear it. I think maybe because like. Obviously, we all watch movies so often. Mm. Sometimes you recognize things straight away. Like I heard someone make the comparison. Like if you're if you're a musician and you listen to music, you can't listen to it like the casual. Yeah. You have yeah. to like you get oh no, they course, mixed it course. this way. Overcritical. Yeah. yeah. So when we see those type of characters, it's like the overt stereotype of the comic relief. You'd be like, oh, yeah. like mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. it's one of those ones. And they even had that stereotypical character with the other guy, the vet. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. He yeah. was just like I don't know, yeah. like. Mad confident, yeah, as like, yeah. But but also, I kind of liked him though. It's just because I thought he was gonna be like a kind of um, he's almost not stere- too stereotypical because I thought he was kind of gonna be a prick mm. on his, on his level. But he kind of was a cool guy. Like, yeah, 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 I mean, I was so. he in the last one as well? No, I don't. He no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. He wasn't. No. Yeah, I, I, I kind of enjoyed his character because I really thought he was gonna be like an annoying guy, and he was just like towards the end, and be like, oh my god, I need to help, kind of guy. But. He was cool the whole way through, and yeah, I don't know. It's just the way they introduced him coming down the the, the helicopter. I think it With was the music. The music, yeah, yeah. And he's acting all like this and confident and stuff like that. And he takes it too far. He's like, "I'm the man," and this and that. And he's flirting with the girl and stuff. I'm like, okay, I can see what's happening here, but he wasn't really fully like that. Which I was like, okay, that's that's not too bad. But um, I don't know, man. This is a movie where I can say we saw God um, King, <laughs> King Kong riding a Godzilla. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> He's moving like a uh, gambit in a uh, ride in Wolverine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ninety seven. Isn't it crazy? What do you not think of um the uh the King Kong aspect of like trying to find, you know I think again I think family you, yeah. basically in a way. I think again with that, it's it's wholesome. You mm. you 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 like that sort of stuff, but when it's going on for so long, especially it's more than one movie they've he's been doing this, it kinda it's like okay, we understand it's this ape and everything, but it because it starts to become more humanoid, as I said before. All his wants and everything, and his mannerisms, and what he's doing it with a little chimp, the little other gorilla and everything. Which I want to come back to that. Cause that one annoyed me at first, but then I was like, yeah, yeah he's, he's right, he's, he's, yeah, cold, yeah, yeah, he's, he's gonna write, he's right. But yeah, it's just like, all right, we understand, and it's like this one mission to find colony, and now you're the boss. And to be fair. Just how the the bad guy looks, Scar. It just wasn't intimidating for me. It just it just didn't feel like a good enough villain. 
Yeah, it was lanky, innit? Yeah, yeah, it man. It like Victor. <laughs> yeah, <man>. lanky. <laughs> it felt like Voldemort, just like with his that one. Yeah, man. Yeah, like, bro. It's just crazy. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, yeah, he just went from like some depressed kind of figure to a, almost a father figure now, mm. in a way, which was kind of interesting. I but. thought it was. I f- that was one of the aspects I liked. Yeah. Because it allowed you to not have humans on screen. Right, right. And, and make him as like the. As he said, the humanoid. Yeah. yeah. So that that's a kind of cheat code in a way. Yeah. You're telling the story through Kong. Obviously, that will piss off some people that are expecting to see Godzilla, who was basically like a side character. In this. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I enjoyed. I enjoyed that aspect of it. Even though the film opened up with him like taking a shower and then like <laughs> he was like, okay, my tooth's hurt and I need to go get that sorted out. Yeah. But yeah, I enjoyed that aspect of it because it allows you to focus more on the on the Titans. Yeah. 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 Quick question. Did it bother you lot at any point in time having a lack of dialogue with the the little girl and Kong? No, I just felt I felt it was just a bit Maybe too the much. Little girl. Maybe the little girl, because she just she was just always Kong, sad. Though. Yeah, she, she only had all, one expression. Yeah, one expression, and you had to decide for what she wanted to. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> she, this yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah exactly time, like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then to try and decide for what she's trying to convey, and then obviously with the woman doing the, the sign and everything, that's fine, but. It's like you got Kong, you've got the other apes, you've got the the little girl. It's just just so much lack of dialogue. I'm not saying we need too much dialogue. We need a lot more dialogue. It's just like at one point I was like, just just, just I know this. Please, please don't don't cancel me. I was just like, just just, just tell them what you want. Not knowing that obviously she, I know she maybe can't speak. Yeah, you're just like, come on, man. Speak you know, now. Just 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 hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. But then I guess for me, I don't know. I don't, I don't really think about. It. I guess for me, the other two side characters that were with the main doctor. Um, Brian Tyree and the other mm-hmm. guy. I think they spoke enough <laughs> for me to be like, That's especially fair. Brian Tyree Henry's yeah, character. He was just talking. And yeah, he had a lot, quite a bit of dialogue, and it was. I didn't like, mind the lack of dialogue, yeah. but it was more a problem when they over-explain it. Be like, oh my god, Godzilla is charging up right now. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah, <laughs> if no. Godzilla finds out, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I, I never felt a sense of like sort of, in, like in immediate danger when like because when he woke up i was like oh yeah it's on now it's on now and then he's on the move but then he's on the move for donkeys like how long is he gonna take to get yes yeah, so i don't understand so they were like kind of so they're cool with him living on earth because he's stopping all of these other threats yeah yeah okay basically and that's just they're just they're just cool with but him he living. sleeps the majority of the time Can't he only yeah, wakes so he up if there's like danger there's yeah so he sensed danger but then another thing one but, but like Mothra is just like I don't know we'll get there we'll get to the butterfly <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that but one question I wanted to ask you guys <laughs> you said like Godzilla was moving like a bit different in this one or quicker is if they move quicker or Godzilla specifically does that remove like the scale Cause he's like an old one. He's big and he's like in the Very, he's yeah. punching. Lethargic. Yeah. Um, he, he looks the size, but when he's like quick, I feel like it made them feel smaller in this one. I, I never, I never, I, ne- I, ne- I never, I never thought that. I never thought that. But again, I think I was so fixated on the fact that these. It just felt like they were so humanoid, or like how they were moving and everything. It's just like the previous ones. As you say, it was slow, and then you could. It does give a sense of scale mm. with the with the slow movement and everything, because from the perspective of hum- like yeah, us yeah, humans. Yeah. But then I don't know it's almost like they wanted like a Thanos and a, like a, a Thanos and a Hulk beef, like just sharp action, like mm, mm. Uh, drop frames and everything to make it look sharper and more snappier. Would they be slow though? In real, if it was like in reality, it would be fast, isn't it? No. no. Why no. would not? Why wouldn't because the eight the size, be fast? The size and scales. Because you have to understand what they're carrying. They're carrying all the way and everything. They're doing all. To be fair, we all we we guessing here. We are so, guessing. Yeah. Yeah. I immediately <laughs> went to like you remember, honey, I shrunk the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you see, the hu- or the, the the raindrops are coming. They're down. coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a cold a classic, man. Cold man. Oh, my goodness, man. We need to do a classic one. Honey, we need to do a classic one. That was cold. Oh man. Yeah. But um. Yeah. No, but, I'm just like again. As I said. I don't think whatever I've been saying doesn't convey the fact that I I enjoyed it. Again, I enjoyed it because it was crap and it, I just took it for what it was. Proper popcorn film, innit? It was. And I again, I appreciated t- Brian Tyree Henry more than anything else in the movie because, yeah, he was the comedy 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 relief. Um, yeah, he was just, he just felt like, I was like, yeah, just give us whatever you want to give us. I'll see if it's funny. And I felt like he was just, it was like, he was trying his hardest. I failed a blogger or YouTuber 
And again, even though you see this in Transformers, it was just fun to see it because I haven't seen it for a while, okay. that sort of performance. But yeah, he was the comic relief man. And that, that pilot, that pilot was a punk. It's like, uh, <laughs> his death was kind of funny. I guess. Yeah, but it was just so like, <laughs> it just wasn't deserved. Okay. It, it wasn't deserved, man, because it, it, it almost spoon fed you. He was like, yeah, okay, something's going to happen. Yeah. Something's going to happen. And he's now over talking everybody and he's not paying attention to his yeah, surrounding. Yeah, yeah. He's just waiting for it. Yeah, just waiting for something to happen. But yeah, man. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. It was, it was, again, it weren't the best of movies. But again, I don't normally go into movies and take it for what it is. And I did this one. Okay. And I think if I do that more often, I might enjoy a bit more films. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, like I said earlier, the Kaiju Fest, the end just got a bit too, too much was happening in that third act. I mean, like, listen, if you like that stuff, some people in really love that kind of stuff. And they're like, oh my God, this is such a spectacle. Yeah. But for me, it was just like seeing the Mothra plus Scar plus I think they called it Shiva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus that Godzilla, plus the no, uh, original Godzilla, plus Kong. Mm. And then you had the baby Kong. That's six different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and as a result, <laughs> none of them really get like that moment. Moment. The baby does though. The baby gets his moment. He, I think he breaks the thing. Yeah. The the thing that's controlling Shiva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that because again, he he took that moment for himself. As I said earlier on, man, that 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 monkey was it. It was it was a setup. Yeah, yeah. It was a setup trick, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, he's a setup. <laughs> It was a set up. Let, let me just take a shower real quick on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you see the big thing come. But speaking of like the kaiju fest, yeah. one thing I really didn't like is that they would tease this kaiju battle yeah. and it would just get solved off screen. So in that same scene with the baby, when he set him up, uh, Kong, in the water and you had the big kind of Gyarados looking Pokemon thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah. started battling Kong, right, right. then baby Kong ran away. Right, right. And then you see the axe and then you see the head. I wanted right. to see that battle right. between yeah. Kong and the uh, thing. Yeah. Or like later on when they was like, oh yeah, but Godzilla needs to charge up. Mm -hmm. He goes underwater to fight this thing. Mm -hmm. They grapple and then off screen, you just see the body float to the water. Yeah. I want to see that battle. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I want to see all of these things. Yeah. I feel <laughs> that was a missed opportunity or maybe like, Cost wise, they couldn't do all of that CGI, but yeah. don't show me something. Yeah, I like can cut gyms. <laughs> don't show me something unless I can have it. Why would you show me if I can't have it? But yeah, <laughs> that was just that was something I didn't enjoy. The off screen, yeah. off screen kaiju fights. Resolutions, yeah. Do you know what's interesting? Yeah, there was a moment in this movie where um, Godzilla and Kong, just before they meet, there was um, Godzilla was in Egypt. He was yes, in Egypt. and then, um, no, no, sorry, King Kong was in Egypt. Yeah, yeah, yeah King Kong, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Godzilla was in Gibraltar, right? And then they're both shouting. He calls him basically, mm -hmm. and then Godzilla hears and he calls back here. And then he dives off, right? Yes. Swan tombo. He dives yeah. off, right? <laughs> and people started laughing at the cinema. I don't know what it is yet. Yeah. Maybe they were like me. I think they thought you that thought jump he was gonna reach <laughs> the pyramids in that one jump, but he just dived into the water. <laughs> so it. But the way he just <laughs> no no no. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> yeah no no. It's, I think that's again. You, to see to see the scale of what it is like yeah. from Gibraltar and like you shouldn't really be hearing him but if he does hear him and everything <laughs> and then you know the, 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 the people are talking about the infinity gauntlet like yeah. was that needed um no no I guess that that's the only way they could could make sense of Godzilla's power and up how is he going but for, for the for the uh, Scar King he didn't need it he could beat him up he beat him up the first time yeah and it's only because of the other yeah ah have you not seen um, How to Train a Dragon <laughs> Oh, I, I haven't, um, you know. Um, I will by the time the live action comes out. Yeah. One of them, you know. How to Train a Dragon, three. Yeah, I know it's really loved those that series. Oh, it's yeah. amazing! It's yeah. one of the, the best animated series ever, ever. But How to Train a Dragon three has the same concept in this. Well, this has the same concept of How to Train a Dragon in regards to keeping that um, the ice um, kaiju yeah. trap and controlling it. Mm, okay. Same concept. Obviously, everything else around it might be different, but exactly the same concept. Yeah. So this kaiju clearly is just doing the bidding of Scar King out of the the control of where it may be. What is the crystal? Any crystal? <laughs> in the they never explained it. Bro. Why are you laughing? I saw, I, I saw that same. I went. I went to Brighton, and you know they've got in the market. They got yeah. the crystals. Look just like this. <laughs> the gems. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Scar King went to the market and just. <laughs> So a quick crystal. A quick, so I'm thinking, so any of the crystals from that place could control <laughs> that kaiju? I'm not sure, bro. 
Okay, they never so, explained there it. There are so many holes even though in they, this. Even though they over explain a lot of things, they never explained <laughs> the that. ones that needed. Yeah. When See, they went to the cave and they was saw all the hieroglyphs and yeah. it was like, oh, they explained the whole thing. Yeah. Mothra's going to do this. They need a the little girl to do yeah, this yeah. to bring Mothra. They're the Scar King and he's been enslaving her. How are yeah. you getting these, how, all these from, from that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Symbols, I thought the same exact thing. I was like, how are you getting this from that? So you know, I just figured it all out. You got a plan now, yeah? yeah they got, <laughs> you, know, you know what I was stuck on as well? How is... Middle Earth illuminated. That's a good point. Middle Earth illuminated. There's no Which, sun. There's no sun, and it looks like a very sunny paradise, man. And how was there like a sky under, under the sky? Yeah. under the thing? Uh, yeah, because yeah, it's like as you said, like you take it for what it is Hollow Earth. You yeah, just yeah. eliminate like hey, popcorn movie guys. <laughs> but popcorn. then there was a, there was another Hollow Earth in it when they yeah, went yeah, into yeah. The, the the people them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was and that had a sky with clouds and atmosphere yeah, yeah. as well. Of course, of course. A whole civilization lived <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. The, the one bit when um Brian Terry Henry was like, where um he's like, do not break eye contact. And he's looking at the bread in his face like this. That got me, man. Yeah, I, I thought that was funny. So like, yeah. <laughs> I, that got me. But again, this now I'm actually looking at it in a proper light. This movie's bad. This yeah, is yeah, yeah. Horrible. As I said, I can accept that you have fun yes. or if you not have fun. That's I think it. that's I, what it was. But no one can tell me this is a good movie. Yeah. Maybe because I watched it with my boy as well and he was having fun. So obviously, <laughs> that's the best, I, was that, I think fun. that's the best kind of environment for it. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. Like, unseriousness, you're just like, Banter. I went by myself, man. I just yeah. wanted to leave, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the worst. See, that's the best scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the worst yeah. scenario. Looking at it by yourself, be like, yo, why am I here? Really? Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, just to, but it was worth it to see the the suplex, no? To see oh, Godzilla. That. Oh my days! I forgot Brock, about that. Brock Lesnar <laughs> taking to Suplex City. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's went crazy. Nah, this movie was nuts, man. What the hell were you watching, bro? But again, when you get these franchises, I think they. They run out of ideas and they, they, they need to find something because they need to keep it going. Mm. I think Hashi was talking about, yeah, the other day, he was, we were talking about it like um, off screen, obviously. He was talking about like the IP, basically. So yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. need to make these movies yeah. every so Already. often. Oh, so that's that why we had the Madam Web. Ah. So they don't lose the IP, isn't that's it? Crazy. So that's what it is. But in um, light of, they've done so I don't much know if that's of the this only one. Reason, but yeah. What are they going to do next? Like, what else can you do? They might go to space <laughs> with Vin Diesel. It has um, to be Godzilla versus everyone, isn't it? Oh, uh, no, it can't be. Or Kong versus everyone. No, no, because we've established that they don't care too much about humans. They only care about the kaijus. And God, the, the King Kongs and the, God, the, the gorillas, they look, they're, they're protectors of the humans. Real quick, did they not try to make Mothra seem like, oh my God, when she comes, yeah, she didn't do this nothing. is going to be a mad thing. But like, she had like some webs in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thing about it is like sh she's like yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what she did bare moaning bro and she just go, she just spitting bare like she's like Spider-Man she's a Spider-Man that's what Godzilla. I'm saying yeah. but oh. then it's just like she come through in the middle and say yo chill yo chill we need to go fight down it's yeah. so it's yeah, yeah. man but yeah. I thought Mothra was gonna like I thought it was gonna be it. I, thought, I did I thought there was gonna be a Megazord at yeah. some point yeah. they was gonna sort of combine <laughs> and turn into a Megazord but it just didn't it didn't man no that is a good question though where do you go next from here yeah where do you go next I don't so much after a suplex like how can you <laughs> how do you top that he loved that suplex <laughs> how do you top that bro Unless he's gonna like come with a weapon or something. Yeah, yeah. Side, it? yeah. Nah, nah. He's got the gloves. He's gonna have the whole mech body, like <laughs> mecha might, Kong. It might be. Oh, is it, no, it's not. It's not Hasbro. It, it might like, be GI Joe, sort of. Oh my god! You never imagine, know. Can you imagine? Kong, I did, it yeah. did feel like they nerfed Kong, though. I truly think Kong could smoke all of them. Really? I think he can smoke all of them. Well, just because he can use his hands the, like yeah, that, yeah. I just think he can smoke In all theory, of them. In theory, yeah. I think. Yeah, I think you're he right. He should be able to. Yeah. But then but obviously Godzilla the power is like OP in this. He is That's like, like he's unbeatable. He's nuclear yeah. charged, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, nuclear yeah. charge. He just like when he comes on screen, he's just murking. He, but again, he like if we are looking at it for what it really like, it's not really is. But I'm just saying, just everything what it is. Like Godzilla shouldn't be able to to take on Kong because mm. Kong should have the ability of agility and mm. being able to move and use his hands and legs. And, and he can it, set it, traps and do Godzilla. Godzilla, it, Godzilla should be like this, right? Uh huh. <laughs> Godzilla should be like this. Right? <laughs> That's like, you know, like Jurassic Park, the most. Jeez. Yeah, it's like, it like yeah. T Rex arms. Yeah, yeah T Rex arms. Kind of they thing. made his arms longer in this one for sure. Yeah, so yeah, he can man. do a suplex. Yeah. yeah. He, had, he had that is, Michael is Jordan wingspan. That, 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 that's the reason why, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You, have, you need enough space to get around the head, bro. <laughs> no, but yeah, no, look, again, I can't think of any more to talk about this because it's, it's, it's a bad movie. It's a bad movie. <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm thinking about it now. It's a bad movie, man. It worked very good. <laughs> You yeah, accept the silliness, but yeah. Yeah, but again, when I watched it, I was like, yeah, but now think about it. It's a bad movie. Yeah. 
I mean, that was your claim at the beginning, anyway. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's not good. Guys, we we uh we gotta rate this movie. Ooh, how Bef- do you guys do your ratings out so of ten? Ten. Ten. So Ooh. before we rate, did anyone got anything else to say? Or to say? Oh, it's a bad movie. <laughs> it's a bad movie. A bad Suplex movie. City. <laughs> Suplex City, baby. Yeah, cool. yeah, man. Kaiju Fest, that's all I can say about it. But um, yeah, out of 10, um, they go last, so we can, mm-hmm. you can have time to... Kev, you got one? Shall free? I go first? You were free? Well, yeah. you went harsher than I expected. <laughs> no, because it's a bad movie. But yeah, again, yeah. as I said, it's just, I think the one aspect, the comedy really, the comedy relief in regards to Brian Terry Henry, I, I, I enjoyed it, even though it was stupid, but I enjoyed it. Fair enough. Yeah. I would give this <laughs> like a four. Honestly, maybe four point five is as high as I'll go. Why though? Why? Why four point five? Why the five? Are you trying to be nice? Maybe. Yeah. Don't I be nice. So. Just say what it is. The four, the point five might be the comedic aspect of it. Okay. Probably. Fair enough. I don't know. The fact, the fact that I saw colors on screen. I don't oh, know. Fair. Like, <laughs> it's just, yeah. Fair man. But it's just because I know the way I judge certain other movies, mm-hmm. and. It's not worth worse than some, and it's not better than others. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I have yeah. to put it in a certain. See, this point is on the same place. bracket as Meg, but a bit better. Because this made a little bit more sense. I think I enjoyed Meg more just because of the human aspect of it. That's the thing. I, I like I like the scrapping in this one. I like. I can I, understand that. I like yeah. the fighting in I this get one. That, yeah. Meg was just stupid. So three, four. What are you saying, bro? I will say I'll put it in that three yeah. ballpark. Yeah. I'll put it in that, but I'll, you know, it's a people will. So oftentimes people say you need to turn your brain off to, in yeah. order to see this film. My question is, as a rebuttal, should you have to in 2024? No. 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 That's the thing, like... We're critics. Yeah. We, do, we shouldn't have to turn our brain, brain off. off. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. can do better. You can yeah. do better. Yeah. Um, I've seen, so I can't remember who done it, but someone gives like three different scores. They give a critic score, yeah. a casual score, and an overall score. That could be like a... Oh, yeah. But yeah, but from a from a critic standpoint, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's a horrible movie. Yeah, yeah. The horrible reason why movie. I don't think you should turn your brain off with these movies because I don't think directors when they come to make these movies are being like, like I truly think they're thinking to themselves, I really hope people like this. Yeah. Yeah. They're not thinking like, ah, let's just do a throwaway thing and whatever. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, but then if you take in that, I I, I would take they do take that into consideration. But if you if you're gonna always look at stuff like that, you never really you're gonna always have that sympathy for. The, the, the work process because right. you have to understand everybody knows making a movie is so hard it's difficult it's yeah. very difficult and we understand we respect that even the worst ones the really bad one we respect it but then you still have to understand if we are going to be rating a movie and giving it a bump up because of what they've gone through if this movie was um, if this was tried to if they tried to make this and like for example we'll talk about it, uh, another thing for example like Monkey Man Dead Patel mm. he broke his hand Mm, put the screw and in all it, of that. Yeah. yeah, and in order to continue making the movie, what's this? Sorry, uh, do you know what we're yeah, about? We'll talk about it. But anyway, yeah, yeah. So stuff like that, you, you could even give it out. Fair enough, I could be leaning on certain things. Even yeah. God, Godzilla minus one, yeah, was certainly leaning on the seat, certain CGIs because we under like because the rest enough, of the movie was amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you're you're not you're not sort of giving an extra bump because of the body of like how they made the movie. Sure, it's because of the movie. So I think it would be disingenuous for us to yeah, give an sure. extra rating for a movie and then consider giving it a bit more because of the process because everybody goes through the same process. Yeah. Imagine giving minus one the same budget as this oh. one. <laughs> that's why you can't give it a blow. Yeah. No, you can't give it a blow. That's, a, that's just something I want to ask you lot. Do you reckon movies like minus ones and everything had more budget would have ruined the movie? I could see the argument. Yes, 100%. I, I was see thinking the that argument too. Because yeah. you could just start putting in stuff that's not supposed to be. That there, doesn't like, matter. Yeah, yeah. I could see that. Yeah. I could yeah. see that. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I don't know. You start making Godzilla do not crazy yeah. things. Backflips. Yeah, that is. <laughs> nuts, bro. Uh, yeah, I think he's stuck. <laughs> Suplexing. <laughs> <laughs> He's got leather jacket and shades. Yeah, now. that's it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> fresh. Yeah, yeah. Unless you critique it, then you will never get better. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. And if you, if it's like, a, I don't know what the budget for this movie was, but um, it's like in the 150 ballpark. If you have 150 million production, mm. you would hope all aspects of the film are being respected, yeah. including the writing yes. and the script. That's and a stuff, critic, right like, here. You know, yeah. oh, that's you, a critic. Bro. Ages are straight. Ages are straight, baby. Go. Come on now. <laughs> Uh, so I've got some questions. Shall we do it in the hair or in the Monkey Man one? Monkey Man, because it'll be, uh, personally, the man, I'm not, uh, no, no, no disrespect to this movie, but I think it'll be lost here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> i got some quick fire questions for in the screen. So if you want to see them, go to the Monkey Man review. Okay. Um, it should be out after this. Yeah. 
So you'll see it in a couple of days. Uh, so yeah, look out for that one. But guys, that was our review. You guys cool? Anything else yeah, to say about this all one? Good, all, <laughs> good. <laughs> all good. Thank you for joining us, bro. bro. Appreciate it. Uh, like I said before, socials are down in the descriptions below for everybody here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when the videos are coming out. And we'll see you guys for more reviews soon. Peace. Peace.